What's up, Buck Nation? This your boy Isaiah, man. Coming to you again, right back at you. I had uh, that game just still got got me got me blow right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, but uh, I had to do another video, man. This this video is sh strictly about that guy. Yeah, uh, Mike Smith giving up 513 yards passing, over 600 yards total offense. That is embarrassing. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Got Chris Conte back there, guard Amari Cooper. Bradley McDougal, chicken wing, tackling. Jay, holding on fourth and goal. That should have won us the game. This is all on you, Mike Smith. Yeah, uh, sorry about that, Buck Nation. This this video is strictly about that guy, Mike Smith. Um, he he. What do you think after seven games, folks? I mean, the defense was horrible that game. I mean. No pass rush, barely blitzing. I mean, it was just uh, a complete embarrassing. 23 penalties, and we still couldn't win the game? And Derek Carr went ham on our secondary. Vernon Hargraves playing scared. Amari Cooper still in his head, going dating back to the Florida Gator days in the SEC. Couldn't get that man no help. Brent Grimes doing pass interferences. Bradley McDougal, Keith Tandy, and Chris Conte. I keep saying this, y'all, until we upgrade them safeties, we're going to keep having these problems in the secondary. And I blame this whole defensive scheme on Mike Smith. And, folks, if you don't know any, if you don't know your history about Mike Smith, let me enlighten y'all on some history about Mike Smith um, in his days in Atlanta Falcons as, a, as the head coach of Atlanta Falcons. And the reason why he got fired, because of what, folks? Defense. So let me enlighten y'all. From 2008 to 2014, I wrote this down did some research with the Atlanta Falcons the average defensive rankings in his six years with Atlanta 22nd in total yards allowed 15th in total points 17th against the rush pass defense was 23rd rank yards per catch against defense 23rd and touchdowns allowed pass touchdowns allowed passing touchdowns allowed 14th and this year's rankings with the Bucks 17th in pass defense 19th in total points 17th in total yards 18th against the rush that's the best you can do Mike Smith hmm? golly boy 513 yards as my boy Travis Johnson said it, and AKA, you know what I'm saying, Jalen Ramsey, you tell me. <laughs> God damn. 513 passing yards. That was like, I think the sixth most, the sixth most in NFL history, or something like that. And it had to be against our defense. We have serious issues with our secondary, folks. And I keep saying this over and over again. I'm going to keep saying it. Until we get those safeties fixed, we got guys playing back there that are special team guys. They are not. Bradley McDougal, Keith Tandy, and Chris Conte is not starters. I don't know how many times I got to keep saying that. You know, Vernon Hargraves is a rookie, so you really can't get too hard about him. But Mike Smith, going all the way back to my Atlanta defense, trash. And the reason why you got fired in Atlanta, defense. And folks, here's a telltale sign. His last couple years in Atlanta, last year, last the last years he's a coach, 32nd in total yards allowed, 27th in total points, 21st in rush defense, 32nd in pass defense, 32nd in yards per catch against the secondary. And we turn around and hire this man as a defensive coordinator. Y'all think he's gonna be our savior? I'm gonna say it right now, Mike Smith. You gotta go. Because history shows you're not a good defensive coordinator. And folks, and this is what we gotta deal with. Dirt's cutter, dirt cutter's best friend, Mike Smith. Well, folks, there you have a little history lesson on Mike Smith. Share, like, comment, subscribe, Buck Nation Diehards. Shouts out to Travis Johnson with that video yesterday. That was pretty good, man. This your boy Isaiah, about to go work out, man. Still disappointed, and I will do another video about the offense. Peace.